Hi guys, it's Bob again from Grey Bear Models and uh, welcome back to the Panzer IV um, tank repair diorama and I just thought I'd show you some of the preliminary um, sort of plans that I've put together um, and one is like getting getting all of the info all of the the sort of zones within the diorama in the right place so, in, so in, to do this what I've done is I've actually cut out cardboard uh, templates to represent where the tank will sit where the engine lift will sit if I use it I'm not sure if I'll use it yet and then the, in that corner there um, there's a sort of workshop come rest area sort of thing going on and over here I'm going to have some sort of rubble and debris that will come off of that wall and in this corner here I'll have some sort of debris and more rubble that maybe have come off of this wall um, but one of the things that I found when I when I started to put the, the mini art garage uh, building together was that actually it was slightly longer than the space I had available and so and, and to ch check everything as we go um, I'm going to try and put this back in in place this is this is one of the sides of the of the, of the actual sh um, display case and put that in into place there it's, it's gonna it's gonna slip isn't it because I'm filming it it's gonna be a, a little bit of a pain so what I'll do is if I put that down onto the bench and then I can sort of push this in I don't want to take the protective film off of the acetate sheets um, and then I put this um, in this end piece in place this, this sort of slots together and again obviously when you're filming something it, it never seems to go as easy as you think it or it did when you were messing around but just wanted to put this together and just sort of show you um, where we've gone so far and that's, that's sort of got that in place there we go right so that's now all in place and as you can see you can't actually see anything now because of because of the protective film so what i'll do is if i put this up onto my little turntable here and i can actually swing it round and uh, there you can see how how it will look with the with the sort of factory or garage building walls in place um, in the diorama but one of the things i noticed was this this wall is actually too long so one of the things i had to do was actually to cut this wall back um, and it's a vacuum form sheet um, so what I'll do is I'll show you what I've done there because uh, I think that's that's quite an interesting thing to show so I'll be back with you in a second once I've cleared all this out of the way and I can show you in detail I'll be back in a second so as I said one of the things I had to do was actually trim down this wall um, because it really actually extended about another I, th I think about another 10 mil but it, it, nothing of any real significance I thought what I'd do is actually show you how, how I've dealt with that. So what I did was cut off all the, the excess that I needed to do and get it fairly, fairly sort of straight down that face. Um, and then took um, some of this, uh, I think it's 20,000, yeah, it's 20,000 um, plastic card. Cut a strip and then I've stuck that onto there to give it an end to that wall um, and I'll do a bit uh, at the top end here um, obviously all of this has got to be modelled to represent damage and, and what, what not there um, but what I'll do with that is once all this once once I've, I've dealt with that and I've done all that I'll trim this back here and then that'll have just a flat end to it and i'll paint that matte black um, and that's sort of set to the end of the end of the diorama it, it's a technique i've seen used in exhibitions and stuff like that um, where, where you've got you're only representing part of a building um, 
and the, and the, the thing is to if you're not going to show th that particular area you can block it off and, and paint it matte black and it sort of closes off that that it becomes the end of the model zone and goes back into the real world if you like but that's that's what I'm going to do there and that, that's a fairly tr uh, simple thing to do because we just run a, a run a oh it's gone out of shot isn't it so, cameras for the tad right so what what you do is just lay lay that down and then run along there with with a scalpel and uh, if everything is stuck in place all of that should just snap away so what I do is I've grab the scalpel and just run along it here I can get the scalpel right in tight doesn't need to be very tight because obviously um, you know you can go in and trim it up later but just basically run the, run the scalpel along the edge that's been stuck there and then you can just snap that off and that's the reason why you use something like a 20 thou or, or something you know of that sort of size because it will it will trim off quite easily and then what you've got is an edge there that just needs to, a little bit of dressing and that will that will be you know that'll be fine and I'll do this do the same on this side it's a little bit more complex near the top on that one but um, what I do is just run the scalpel down that side there clean off it's going over lumps of glue which is, which is a good sign I'm not worried about that particularly and then we'll come down that end and then again what we do is just snap that off and that's tidied up the edge of the building there's a little bit of gaps in there you know we're modelers so we should be able to deal with with the gaps a little bit of filler in there whatever whatever your favorite medium is um i think i'll probably end up sticking lumps of sprue go in there it's also it's quite quite a deep little little drop there so i might um just run a little bit more card in there just to make that a little bit more secure but that's that's generally the idea and again there um at that corner where it's it's blown through a bit we'll trim that up fill that hole you won't know it's there it really that, that and that's really how you've gone i've gone about putting this together um so there we are with that i'll come back to you in a minute i've got a few more things to go through right so back again and uh one of the things i wanted to look at is, is um with these these sorts of buildings where you mating up two halves of, uh, of vac forming um, on the top here um, in the in the structure of the building this this would have been some sort of i don't know sort of concrete sort of lintel type thing um, with you know made out of, possibly made out of slabs they haven't really defined it but in terms of the building i mean this might well have been one big concrete slab i don't know um, but you end up with with a seam right along the middle of where the joint where the joint is in fact um, so look on the underside uh, just give you an idea these seams um, I've stuck together um, and if you you're wondering about the glue to use um, I've been using this these are um, little tubes of, of humbrol glue um, they come in sort of starter packs and things like that and I've, I've, over the years I've picked up a number of sort of kits that had like the paint set and the and the um, and, and a brush and, and some glue um, obviously we're using extra thin and stuff like that but this stuff is actually really good for for, for joining the, this sort of thing because you've got to join it up you've got to sort of make sure it's got a really good seal and and I've found that actually I might as well use that rather than wasting extra thin and stuff like that that's that, that is vastly more expensive and as I said these have come in in kits that, that are relatively cheap and might as well use it up don't want to waste it so I've been using that um, so one of the things going back to the top of this was, was the join here was really really difficult to get 
together in fact it's still there's still some movement between the two halves so have a little experiment and go over to another piece um, actually I'll, I'll bring it bring the piece in this this is part of the the garage that actually that, that fits on there on that section there there's a pillar there and there's like a roof so I took this to one side and, and dealt with this particular piece on its own to have a look at and just experiment basically um, so what I've done on on the underside here where, where the join was where the seam was um, <sighs> What I've done is got it as best as I can, sanded it down with some fairly coarse sanders. Um, I've got these Infini sanders, this is 150 grit, it's fairly, fairly coarse. Um, and it, just sort of even it out as best I can. I've then covered it with, with a layer of uh, the it's the surface of 500 so you know it, it's glued the two halves together leave those for 24 hours to, to really set off sand it back as flat as I can and then coat it with Mr. Surfacer the Mr. Surfacer takes about 24 hours because it's quite a, quite a thick coat of it on there and what it's done it's given me a fairly even surface and that, that means that you know, even though that's the underside it, it does seem look like to look like one big concrete lintel which is what's represented there I think um, you know it's like like that window lintel there so what I'll do on the inside of that and on this inner section is to is to do similar and then sand that down there's a window that goes in here which I'll fit as well um, but that gives me a good surface and I can then paint that to represent concrete or cement or whatever the material would be but I just thought I'd show you that because that's what I intend to do on the top of here uh, is to sort of sand this down I've covered it in some brugo to be honest just to sort of give it some sort of surface and then I'll sand that all down and then give that a coat of the Mr. Surface of 500. The one that I've got, if I go back to it, the one that I've got is a fairly old jar. And uh, Mr. Surface, uh, for those of you that are not aware of the material, um, it's a sort of concoction of, of thinner and, and adhesive, I think. Um, it's, it's a really good stuff, actually. It's great for doing making a surface uh, comes in two grades the 500 and the thousand I think I think I could be right in saying there's another grade but I'm not entirely sure um, but yeah using that to, to paint onto the surface um, and then let that set off and that should give me a really good surface to to represent the concrete at the top there anyway that's that bit, so we'll come back to you in a second. So I think it's about time to um, wrap up this particular video. So I just thought what I'd do is show you another alternative to sort of topping off this wall, this exposed wall. And uh, this is another method that I've used in the past, which is fairly simple. Um, as I explained to, be, to you before, about using the 20 thou plastic here to sort of end that wall with the, with the top piece here to make this sort of end up looking fairly flat and even uh, which was the, the way I wanted to go um, did the same thing covered the whole thing with uh, some of the, the leftover if you like the cheap glue that I had you know this Humbrol stuff, you know, that comes in kits and stuff. Um, just put a load of that on there. Got a piece of 20 thou plastic sheet, plastic card. Put it down in the middle and then eased it out 
over the contours and because it's 20 thou it sort of molds quite easily um, and then you know stick that down I use I use what I use for this is uh, I don't, uh, it's really cheapo cheapo masking tape this is this is the sort of masking tape you get in 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 the UK in pound shops um, it's absolute crap for masking really um, but it's good for sticking things <laughs> um, so yeah so basically topped off the that wall with that and uh, I think you'll agree that looks a hell of a lot better than having a, a ridge line or something in the middle um, what you can do from here is once this is all sanded in molded in and whatever um, you can scribe I don't know sort of stones on it you know like uh, slabs so you've got a number of slabs if you like if that's what you want um, if that's what your 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 design calls for but I'm going to end up leaving that like that I think for now um, we've dressed the edges up you know contour them round here there's some wall damage here and some wall damage along here whoops along along here so we've gone out shot there so yeah so the wall damage along there and wall damage on the other end so we we'll carve all that into shape time that's had a coat of paint on it and stuff yeah, yeah it'll look fine so that's where we are with our, our tank repair diorama still working on on the wall and uh We'll be back to you shortly with uh, another update. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day. Stay safe out there and all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you all again soon.